Hello guys and welcome to another lecture of chapter functions. In last lecture we discussed about exponential and logarithmic functions and this lecture again we will discuss about the greatest integer function and some more functions if time permits. So what is the greatest integer function? It is defined as the greatest integer less than or equal to x if it is a function of x. So, for all x that is belonging to R, this function is valid and it's denoted by this symbol x under square brackets. Its domain is R since x is defined for all R values and its range is only integral values, only the integers. Alright, so we'll see how its range is only integers. So, since it has been defined as the greatest integer less than or equal to x, so for all the values, what we will see is what is the integer that is either less than or is equal to that particular value. So, if that particular value is an integer, then it is equal to that integer. Alright, so we will consider that particular value itself that will be f of x value. And if it is not an integer, say some point value, then whatever is the integer that is immediately less than that particular value will be f of x's value. So let's take this example 1.5. So since this itself is not an integer, so it will be greatest integer less than less than 1.5, which is 1. Again for 2.0001 the greatest integer that is less than 1 is 2 for 4.999 it's 4 and for 3 it's equal to an integer right so for integral values it has to be equal to that value the functions value and for non integral it has to be less than so this is how the function will look like on graph so for integral values you see a step over हम next step पे पहुंच जाते हैं integral values के लिए so for 1 the greatest integers value will be 1 and for 1 point something it will remain 1 and then on 2 again it jumps on next step it goes to 2 let's have a look at some of the properties of greatest integer function so negative of x का जब आप greatest integer निकालेंगे so this will be either minus of greatest integer of x minus 1 if x is not an integer and it will be minus of x if x is an integer so let's look at this example 2.5 negative this greatest integer when you get out of it this will be in this range obviously because 2.5 integer is not so it will be calculated with this formula minus of 2.5 minus 1 and what is the greatest integer value of 2.5 that's 2 so minus 2 minus 1 equals minus 3 and this is another example since this is an integer itself 2 so it will come under this category and minus of x will be the value so minus of 2 is the greatest integer value for this one for this particular value greatest integer value for x plus k if k is an integer is x plus k greatest integer of x plus k these are the examples for that if k is not an integer then there is no specific formula there are two possible cases it could be greatest integer of x plus greatest integer of k plus 1 or it could be greatest integer of x plus greatest integer of k that depends kin kin fractional part ka jo sum hai that is greater than 1 or not third one is the property that if greatest integer of x is greater than or equal to k then x has to be greater than or equal to k okay and similarly for greatest integer value if there is no equal to sign then x has to be greater than or equal to k plus 1 you can put in some values here say for example this is 2 and if greatest integer of x is greater than 2 then this value cannot be 2.5, 2.6, 2.7 cause the greatest integer of that will be 2 and that won't be greater than the value of k which we are assuming 2 
so in order for this left hand side to be greater than right hand side it has to be either 3 or greater than 3 so that is k plus 1 so either 3 or greater than 3 right and you can similarly check uh, this particular property as well and similarly these are two more properties you can directly put in these properties in some of the objective type questions and find the solutions okay next is your signum function where f of x is mod of x by x for x not equal to 0 and it's equal to 0 for x equal to 0 so basically if x is 0 then this particular thing is not valid since it, it takes 0 upon 0 form which is an indeterminate form when we are limits, we will discuss what are indeterminate forms and uh, by directly putting 0 in these particular kind of forms you cannot evaluate them so for 0 we will consider this case where the function's value will be 0 its domain is R for all values of this function uh, sorry for all values of uh, set, re set of real values this particular function is valid and its range will be only minus 1, 0 or 1 so for positive values this will be 1 for negative values mod will be positive but the denominator will be negative hence you will get a negative 1 and for 0 we have defined it to be 0 so this is your signum function next is the fractional part function where as the name itself suggests it is the fractional part of any value so if x is 2.5 the fractional part of that particular value is 0 0.5 which is 2.5 minus the greatest integer value of x that is 2 its graph looks like this which is from 0 to 1 the range where 0 has a square bracket so and 1 has this small bracket and you give 1 joe value ye function kabhi nahi lega so for integral value see how the function behaves if it is 3 then 3 minus greatest integer is also 3 this is 0 and just before 3 say for example 2.9999 something it will attain 1 this will go about attaining 1 but jaise hi wo 3 ki value attain karega it will fall back and it will again be 0 so this process will continue and the graph will look like this next you have is the reciprocal function we will discuss about this function in the coming lectures thank you so much